Okay, so in this video, we're actually going to talk about how can we add refrigerant or Freon to this refrigerator, okay? This is actually a top and bottom refrigerator, but it doesn't matter. It's the same principle for a side-by-side -side refrigerator, okay? So now, uh, in order to recharge this unit, we're going to have to put a valve on, this, on, on the back of this um, area here. You can put the valve now the valve pretty much looks like this it's actually an adjustable line tap valve okay uh, this is a mac brand okay so the valve looks like this pretty much okay so we're gonna have to install this valve on the back of this refrigerator okay you could actually pick two areas to install this valve it has to be your suction side you could put the valve right here or you could actually put the valve right here in this area this is your suction area as well okay um, this actually this little stubby right here is a process area from the manufacturer so you can actually put it on this part right here if your compressor has uh, this type of piping coming out of it okay you don't want to put never you never want to put you never want to recharge on your discharge okay your discharge is a small little piping usually steel okay you don't want to add it here okay so you're gonna to wanna to add it right here, which is your copper. And actually, how else you can tell? When you touch it, it's gonna be a little bit cold, okay? That's another way you can tell, which is your suction line, okay? So we're gonna install this valve on here. I'm gonna show you how to put this valve. So the valve, to put this valve on, okay, you're gonna to wanna to put this valve, I would say somewhere right here. You want to screw it down pretty evenly okay you 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 don't you want pretty much what you want to do is when you screw this line tap valve you do about five turns on one side then you do about five turns on the other side you want the screws to be on that pipe pretty evenly okay you don't want one side tighter than the other okay or else they'll start leaking okay you got to make this pretty even okay so you, you want to screw it down evenly, okay? Now, it's on there nice and tight. Once it's, once it's on there nice and tight, okay, you actually have to get, this is, uh, this also comes in the box. Now, what you're gonna do with this, you're gonna put this on the tip right here, okay? And then you're, you're gonna put the cap on it. And when you put the cap on it, okay, and you press it and you screw down, it's gonna pierce that pipe okay that's how you pierce the pipe you screw it down okay tighten it screw it down then when you take it off okay it's actually gonna make the hole there for you and that's how it makes the hole on the piping okay so now if you notice now we pierce the line okay we're gonna put the gauges on there right now Okay, now, once you actually installed your um, your gauges on there, okay, here's your gauges. You're going to have typically for 134, you're going to have five pounds on your suction side. Okay, if it's 134 or R12 or a uh, alternative 134A replacement, okay, so pretty much you're going to have uh, five pounds on your actual suction side and on your discharge size okay actually you can't install a um, a tap line valve on the, on the discharge because what will happen is the discharge side um, is actually hot and you'll melt the gasket okay so you can't install a piercing valve on your discharge side okay which is going to be right here okay because what will happen is 
in a few hours or in a few days, eventually that gasket will actually melt from the heat on this discharge. Because remember, the discharge side's hot and this side is cold, okay? So you, actually, unfortunately, you can't put the rubber on this discharge side, okay? Now you could actually put a permanent valve on there if you want to check your discharge side. But, and if you notice when the manufacturer had it on here, here's your discharge. The manufacturer actually had a valve on here to check the discharge side. So if you want to put a valve, you could actually install a valve here on your discharge side to see what your, your, what your pressures are, okay? On your actual um, discharge side, okay? But it would actually have to be a permanent valve, okay? And the pressures for your discharge is generally rule of thumb 120 on your discharge and then five pounds on your suction side, okay? All right, well, um, thanks for watching. And this is how you actually add a valve, okay, uh, on your uh, refrigerator. And um, this is how you charge your unit, okay? Okay, thanks for watching.